بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونعوذ به من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحابته ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فيا عباد الله اتقوا الله فقد فاز المتقون الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد Brothers in Islam We have to commit ourselves to self-restraint taqwa Allah self-discipline and self-cultivation Verse 197 of Surah Al-Baqarah يقول الله تعالى وتزودوا فإن خير الزاد التقوى واتقوني يا أولي الألباب You have to take your provision and the best provision is taqwa Allah Self-restraint, self-discipline or self-cultivation So you have to fear me oh, According to Allah Almighty Allah O oh, 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 man of understanding Brothers in Islam This day fasting is unlawful Food, drink, and association with our better hubs is halal at the at the daytime in this in this uh, day, on this day. And then uh, this day we receive also a happy tiding from the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in his saying, "Man saam Ramadan iman an wasisaba, wafira lahu ma taqaddam min dambi." Whoever fasted on the month of Ramadan with sincere faith and self-accounting is already forgiven of all of si- or his sin, uh, previous sins. Woman kama laylat al-qadr, imanan wa hisaba, ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhamihi. Whoever commemorated or celebrated the laylat al-qadr with sincerity in his faith and self-accounting is already forgiven of his sin or his previous sins. Yes, a proper a celebration of the Eid al-Fitri has been highlighted by the glorious Quran in verse 185 of Surah Al-Baqarah. يَقُولُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ You have to complete the prescribed, the prescribed uh, uh, service to Allah on the month of Ramadan, especially the number of fasting days in the month of Ramadan. And then you have to um, glorify Allah in on His uh, guidance to you. And the third stage here is you have to express your gratitude So that uh, on the favor of Allah and the blessing of Allah for you. And I believe that the most significant favor of Allah to the Bangsamoro people is the BOL Bangsamoro Organic Law and the foundation of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. And this favor of Allah needs to be welcomed and needs to be acknowledged sincerely in our heart and putting them into our practical life. And this favor of Allah automatically draws our attention to the plight of the Bangsamoro during the dark days of the martial law. During those dark days of martial law, many of our innocent uh, Bangsamoro have been tortured to death. Many of our dear sisters and beloved daughters have been raped to death. And many of our old folks and children have been victim, fallen victim of the series of massacres. The Bangsamoro on those days have been crying for rescue. Verse number 75 of Surah, uh, Surah An-Nisa. وَمَا لَكُمْ لَا تُقَاتِلُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَالْمُسْتَضْعَفِينَ مِنَ الرِّجَالِ وَالنِّسَاءِ وَالْوِلْدَانِ الذين يقولون ربنا أخرجنا من هذه القرية الظالم أهلها واجعل لنا من لدنك وليا واجعل لنا من لدنك نصيرا 
Why don't you fight in the cause of Allah and the cause of those being weak? They are ill-treated. They have been oppressed. Men, women, and children uh, whose cry is, O oh, our Lord, O oh, our God, rescue us from this town whose people are oppressors and ar arise for us. Raise for us someone who will protect us and who will help us. And who responded to the cry for rescue of the Bang Samoro on those days? It was, they were the youth, Bang Samoro youth, the members of the top 90 trainees, and especially the members of the top 300 trainees. And we have to remember that one of the most, most outstanding trainee of the 300 is now our chief minister. They have responded to the call of rescue. And as soon as they returned back to our homeland, they reported to the battlefield under the banner of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, led by Sheikh Salamat Hasim on those days. And one of the four, four front, uh, uh, four front of this uh, Moro Islamic Liberation Front in the battlefield is our chief minister also. He was the chief of his staff on those times. And uh, because of the impact of the fighting between the Moro Islamic Liberation Front and the government, the Moro Islamic Liberation Front has received an invitation to the table of negotiation. And we have responded to this table, uh, this invitation to the table of negotiation. On that day, the Moro Islamic Liberation Front had been branded by some, some uh, group also that the Moro Islamic Liberation Front uh, branded or alleged as surrender to the government. It was not a surrender, but every step taken by the Moro Islamic Liberation Front was guided by the glorious Quran. We have been guided by the glorious Quran. Verse number 61 of Surah Al-Anfal. وَإِنْ يَنَحُوا لِسَّلْمِ فَيَنَحْ لَهَا وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ If the enemy will incline toward peace, you have to be responsive positively. You have to incline to toward peace and put your trust in Allah. Verse number 90 of Surah An-Nisa. فَإِنِ يَعْتَزَلُوكُمْ فَلَمْ يُقَاتِلُوكُمْ وَأَلْقَوْا إِلَيْكُمُ السَّلَمَ فَمَا جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ عَلَيْهِمْ سَبِيلًا If the enemy will stay aloof from you and wage no more war against you and offer peace, invite you to peace, and then you have to be responsive positively, knowing that Allah will not give you any more way against them. And the result of the negotiation was the issuance of the Bangsamoro Organic Law and the foundation of Bangsamoro, uh, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. But it was not easy for us. We have paid a very great, a very, very high price during the uh, dark days of the Bang, uh, Martian Law. Tens of thousands of the Bangs, Inusian Bangsamoro had fallen victim for this. And I think we are always reminded by the Bangsamoro hem, Bangsamoro tagumpay, ungang pawis dugo at buhay. We have paid a lot of life. We have paid a lot of blood. And we have paid a lot of shoots. So we have to acknowledge this favor of Allah to us. And now, there is some allegation also against the Bangsamoro people, against the Bangsamoro struggle. That the struggle is now deviating from the real spirit of Islam to politics. These critics of or these adversaries of Islam or adversaries of the uh, struggle of the Bangsamoro should understand that Islam is not a mere religion, not only a religion. There is no separation of state affair from religious affair. According to Islam, Islam is a deen. Islam is a socio-political system, a composite code, a civilization of which religion is, religion is, uh, religion is part. 
the head of the Muslim community, discharges his socio-political duties in the name of Islam. But this is not the aspect of religion, but it is the aspect of socio-political and the system of Islam. And it is an organic part of the system of Islam. Of course, every, every one of us performs his prayer in the name of Islam. And this is the religious aspect of Islam. And now, the glorious Quran is addressing us with warning what to do in order to pursue the struggle of the Bangsa Moro people for meaningful peace and meaningful uh, me meaningful uh, oh, meaningful peace and of course development of the Bangsa Moro Hongdan. This warning is from the verses of the glorious Quran. Verse number 46 of Surah Al-Anfal. يَقُولُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى وَأَطِيعُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ وَلَا تَنَازَعُوا فَتَفْشَلُوا وَتَذْهَبَ رِيحُكُمْ You have to obey Allah and the Messenger of Allah and do not dispute among yourself lest you will fail and you will lose your strength. Verse number 105 of Surah Al Imran. وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمُ الْبَيِّنَاتِ وَأُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ Do not follow the footsteps of those people before you after they receive the very, they receive the very, very clear sign of Allah. After they receive the favor of Allah and the blessing of Allah, they have been divided among themselves. So what was the consequence of their division among themselves? They disputed among themselves. وَأُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ They have been punished with humiliation in this life and in the, world, in the hereafter. Now, what to do next? We have to listen to the Quran. Because the glorious Quran is directing us to be united in order to maintain our in, in, in order to maintain this uh, unity among us <laughs> before the advent of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and before the revelation of the glorious Quran. There was no human society of each real meaning. That was during the days of Jahiliya. Uh, bloodshed was this common common symbol of the Arab tribes. Ridu was almost endless. The same thing with our situation now. Our Ridu here is um, almost endless. <laughs> but after the, after the favor of Allah, after the revelation of the Quran, you try to read the verse 103 of Surah Al Imran. Yaqulu Allah Ta'ala wa atasimu bi habli Allahi jami'u wa la tafarraku. Wa adkuru ni'mat Allahi alaykum. Is kuntum a'da'an fa'allab. فَبَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَسْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانَا You have to hold firmly together with the rope of Allah and do not dispute among yourself and remember with gratitude the favor of Allah to you before the revelation of the Quran you have been in enmity you have been in hostility animosity among yourself but after the revelation of the Quran this hostility had already a sudden change not only into unity, solidarity, and integrity, but it was more than that. That was Islamic uh, brotherhood. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةٌ فَأَصْلِحُوا بَيْنَ أَخَوَيْكُمْ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ Verse number 10 of Surah Al-Hujurat. All the Muslims, all of you believers are brothers. So if two of your brothers having misunderstanding between themselves, you have to make reconciliation between them. And that you will have rahmah from Allah in order that our Islamic brothership will not be shaken. There is a qaida number six, uh, verse number six of Surah uh, Al Hujurat. This verse goes like this Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu. إن جاءكم فاسق بنبأ فتبينوا أن تصيبوا قوما بجهالة 
فَتُصْبِحُوا عَلَى مَا فَعَلْتُمْ نَالِمِينَ All you who believe, if somebody will convey news to you, if the sinner will convey news to you, do not react immediately unless after verification of that news, perhaps it is a fitna and you will harm your brother in Islam without any justification. And you will regret, <coughs> you will regret afterward. Now we have to remember that uh, <coughs> the moral governance of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region, uh, Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, the Bangsamoro government is reflective of the teaching of the injunction of the Gross Quran in the Sunnah to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That Islam is not only confined to the uh, Muslim themselves. Islam is a religion of uh, association, not isolation. Islam is a religion of accommodation, not marginalization. Islam, as reflected by the moral governance of the <coughs> Bangsamoro government, is a religion of inclusivity not exclusivity. So we have to extend also our good relation with the other people of other religions, like <coughs> what is happening now with the moral governance of the Bangsamoro. Verse number 13 of Surah Al-Hujurat. يَقُولُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ Inna khalaqnaakum min dhakari wa unta wa ja'alnaakum sha'uba wa qaba'ila lita'arafu inna akramakum inda Allahi atqaakum O mankind as a whole, irrespective of religion, Jews, Christian, IPs, and etc. We have created you from a single pair of man and woman and we made you into tribe and into nations so that you may have to be acquainted with each other but bear in mind that all of you are of footing of equity and equality in the sight of Allah. The most dignified among you in the sight of Allah is the most pious. And this has been emphasized by the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. During his farewell speech, while he was standing at Arafat, he said, Ayyuhan nas, inna rabbakum wahid, wa inna abakum wahid, kullukum min adamu wa adamu min turab. لا فضل لعربي على عجمي ولا لأبيض على أسود إلا بتقوى الله أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم O men, O mankind irrespective of religion your God is only one your father is only one all of you are descendants of Adam and Adam was created out of clay there is no superiority of the Arab over the non-Arab nor the white man over the black man all of you are of footing of equity and equality in the sight of Allah. The most dignified among you in the sight of Allah is the most pious. So, by this, we have to bear in mind that there is no superiority of the Tausu over the Maguindanon, nor the Maranao over the Dabawin. All of you are footing of equality and equity in the sight of Allah. So, I think uh, this is enough for, for today. يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى إن الله وملا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد ورد الله مع خلفائه الأربعة أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي رضي الله عنهم اللهم يسر لنا أمورنا اللهم بارك لنا في جميع شؤوننا اللهم وحد بين صفوفنا اللهم وحد بين صفوفنا اللهم وفق بين صفوفنا اللهم كما وفقتنا لصوم هذا الرمضان المنصرم